let us discuss about real images and virtual images what are the real images see the definition here when the rays of light diverging from a point of reflection or refraction actually converge at some other point then the image so form is called real image so that means first the rays of light are diverging from a point after reflection or refraction they are converged at some other point then real image is formed okay next what is the virtual image see when the rays of light diverging from a point it also ray rays of light is diverging from a point of reflection or refraction appears to diverge here it is appears to diverge from some other point then the image so form is called virtual image the rays of light diverging from a point of reflection or refraction they are appears to diverge from some other point then virtual image is formed okay these are the definitions of real image and virtual image let us discuss about them with the examples see let us consider a concave mirror this is concave mirror so in case of concave mirror how the image is formed let us see let us place an image beyond center of curvature of the concave mirror when the rays of light traveling parallel to the principal axis after strikes the mirror they reflects like this and passes through the principal focus and another ray also passes through the center of curvature and these two rays are met at this point okay so here the image is formed this is the image the rays of light okay so what are the characteristics of this image this is real image and it is inverted image why it is real image here the two rays are convergent here here the two rays are according to the definition the two rays are convergent here so here the image is formed so this type of image is called real image here the real image is formed that means in case of reflection it is happen and in case of refraction that is mean we have to consider a lens this is a lens and place the object beyond center of curvature and draw the lines parallel to the principal axis and strikes to the lens after refraction it will passes through the principal focus this is another line passes through the optical center and meets here the two rays are convergent that means in case of convex lens after refraction the two rays are convergent here so here the image is formed so this is the image so according to the definition after refraction the rays are convergent at this point so here the real image is formed okay this is the real image here all the convergent the rays are convergent here in case of convex lens okay so this is the real image so in case of concave mirror the real image is formed in case of convex lens the real image is formed in case of concave mirror the real image is formed in front of the mirror and in case of convex lens real image is formed beyond the lens that mean other side of the lens okay so what are the characteristics of real images see it is here it is always inverted the real image is always inverted and it can be taken on a screen you can it can be taken on the screen for example cinema projectors gives the real images so they, these images can be obtained on a screen next you can get magnified image and diminished image and same size okay this type of real images we can get in the case of concave mirror and convex lens 
in the same way we can discuss our virtual images consider a con a concave mirror concave mirror and place an object in front of the mirror that means between principal focus and pole okay the rays passes parallel to the principal axis and meets the surface of the mirror after reflection the refracted ray passes through the principal focus and another ray this ray is meets the surface surface of the mirror and if you extend these two lines they are met at this point that means these two are actually these these are the refracted rays the rays will be refracted like this but if you extend this line like this they are these are met at this point means these rays are appears to diverge from this point according to the definition the reflected rays are appears to diverging from this point so here the image is form this type of image is called virtual image see place the virtual image here okay here the image is formed so this is called virtual image according to the definition the rays of the reflected rays are diverging from this point appears to diverging from this point so here the image is formed the image formed behind the mirror okay this is concave mirror in case of convex lens if you place an object here this is an object placed between optical center and principal focus this is light ray parallel to the principal axis and strikes the lens at the aperture of then it will gets refracted like this so it passes through the principal focus next another ray will passes through the optical center so these two are not met at any point okay so if you extend these lines backward like this these two are met at this point that means these ref refracted rays are appears to diverge from this point so here the virtual image is formed that means where the virtual image is formed when the ref reflected rays are appears to coming from a point there virtual image is formed this is also virtual image in case of convex lens so in case of concave mirror the image is placed between principal focus and pole we can get real image other side of the mirror and in case of convex lens if you place the object between f that means principal focus and optical center we can get virtual image and same side of the object and what are the characteristics of this virtual image it is always erect it look like erect these virtual images are always erect and these images can't be taken on screen so it is also magnified you can get magnified images diminished images and same size and same size images so this is the real image and virtual image so what are the conclusion here when the reflected or refracted rays converge at one point then the real image is formed and the reflected or refracted rays are diverging from some point here the virtual image is formed okay these always inverted real images are always inverted virtual images are always erect